Let's listen in to supporters as the players take to the pitch. Well, eyes up and down these two 11s. The history between them and plenty of changes. Having a look at Bob Bradley's selection today, there wasn't supposed to be any changes until the last minute audible just minutes ago. We got word that Ralph Prezo was added into the 11 in place of DeAndre Kerr on the right wing. Same cannot be said for Wilfred Nancy's side. Lots of rotation from their match against Austin. In fact, seven changes to the team. Only Gabriele Corbo, Rudy Camacho, Sampiet, and Mathieu Chouanier remain in this 11. Blast of the whistle, and we are away. Of course, CF Montreal wearing their red grays today with the blue accents at the front of the kits. They attack the next to the north end of the stadium. That is the left side of your screen. TFC, red shirts, shorts, and onyx socks working from left to right towards the lake and the right side of the screen. In the cup matches, they're always oh so special, and for this one, you know the bright lights between these two sides. Can't even get you in because TFC have their first opportunity. Jaden Nelson off the far post. Positive start for the Reds, and they are up for this one. They know what's on the line. Great bit of pressure from Jaden Nelson there. Just getting his foot in there. He's got to move it a bit quicker at the back, but great effort. First touch. Gets tried to, tried to catch Patim. Pantamus off his off guard. It's unlucky. Good, good hand by Pantamus, by the way. 10th of 28 in the supporter shield standings. As Kyoto goes back to work, keeps it in place, centered. A little friendly fire from TFC, nearly a handball. Piet again. Would have had Westbrook beat. It's a goal line stand nearly. The header away from trouble from O'Neill. It's a lot better from Sammy there. Zaren Johnston. Looked in front for Schwanier. Cross taken first time, redirected by O'Neill nearly. A TFC own goal. Yeah, great idea. Put it in behind the back line. You never know what's going to happen. I think uh, Schwanier's movement there, very much like his brother the other day for Forge. Nelson, that's a good ball in for Jimenez. Now the arrival of Petrasso. Johnston can't get there in time. Tapped in by Akinola. A mistake from CF Montreal on their side of the attack. And TFC makes them pay. One, two, three, and the tap in finish. Ayo Akinola in front, his second goal of the season. And straight into Michael Bradley. The ball was already out of his possession by the time he made the contact with the TFC skipper. And now back come the Reds. It's Akinola. Nelson on the overlap. He's going to get that pass. Nelson, what a desperation slide from Camacho to break that up. Now Nelson runs right back, has an opening, pulls it around. Pantamis goes down, seals off that post. Akinola knew what an opportunity that was, but the passing again from the Reds are brilliant in transition. It all comes from that Jimenez first touch, flicks around the corner to Nelson, into Akinola, into Jimenez. There is Pozuelo. For Nelson, Akinola keeps going on the run. Akinola! Both hands to it from Pantamis and pushing it clear. They take on Korea Republic in a tune-up for the W Championship. Here's Akinola, the strike off the bar and in! Ayo, a brace in brilliant fashion! TFC have doubled up CF Montreal and have one foot in the Canadian Championship final. Waterman, Torres, Brogiard, Yevich who remain in Wilfred Nancy. Kamara is out muscling the TFC defenders, is able to get a shot on target. Handy follows up, blocked by Thompson. Zara again tries to get around Prizo, stands his ground, the cross comes in, but not before the foul is spotted by Usri Rudolph. Great bit of center forward play from Kamara there, big and strong. Get that half a yard. Straight at Westberg, but Westberg's got to be there to stop it. Timeout of BMO Field. The corner was played in, and it's a tap in for Jimenez. Pantamis lunged out to get the punch to it. Kyoto wanted it caught. Montreal can't clear it. Surely it's done now. 
Jesus Jimenez with a wide open goal, a third for TFC. I'm not sure what happened there as the camera was off, but Jimenez, same as Akinola did, you, you get yourself in the right positions. But they're only five points back in the final playoff spot and doing some serious positive momentum in the cup. It's also for Nelson, Pozuelo! Chips it up and in. It's a fourth for TFC. Game set match and good night. 4 0 for the Reds. And just two and a half weeks after winning the 2020 Canadian Championship, that ticket is booked. See you in July as they look for a ninth Voyagers Cup. Pozuelo has this goal. TFC have four. Incredible break there, great run for Moson, great ball through from Pozuelo. Very unselfish, finds, finds Jaden Nelson, but look at the, how calm Pozuelo is. Any more laid back, he'd be asleep there, and that's incredible finish. It's a deflected strike from Marshall Ruddy, and surely that is it. Three blasts of the whistle, and just weeks after winning the Canadian Championship for 2020, Toronto FC will be playing for another in just a few weeks' time as they look for their ninth Voyager's Cup win.